in Woke AI just dropped with smoother, sleeker UI and exciting new features. But can it beat everyone's favorite automatic 1111? In this video, I will be giving you step-by-step -step process to install Invoke AI 3.0 on your system. If you want similar tutorial for Automatic 1111, I have made a separate video and I will be sharing its link in the description. So do check it out. After that, I will give you the basic workaround of Invoke AI and the new features introduced in it. Then I will compare the images generated by Automatic 1111 and Invoke AI in similar settings so that you can know which one is better for you. In the end, I will tell you whether you should switch to Invoke AI from Automatic 1111. So watch this video till the end. Before downloading Invoke AI 3.0 on your system, you have to ensure that you have at least 6 to 8 GB of VRAM on your system. You should also have at least 10 GB of free space. But if you want to download all the models available at installation, you will require at least 45 to 50 GB of space. So ensure that whichever hard drive you select should have this much space. So let's begin the installation process. To start the installation process, first we go to Invoke AI GitHub page. I'll be sharing link of this in the description. And here in the releases section, you will find the latest version of Invoke AI available. That is Invoke AI 3.0. I will click on this link. Then this will open the Invoke AI 3.0 page. We will go down and we will click on this link to download the installer. Once the installer is downloaded, we will go to that folder. We will extract the files and I will be pasting this file in, in my E drive. Now once this is done, you will find these files here. Now before starting the installation, you have to download Python and latest version of Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. I will be sharing both these links in the description below. To install Python on your system, you scroll down. You have to download the installer. I will be doing that. Click on the installer. Now remember to check on add python 3.102 path. I will do that and then press install. This will begin the installation process. Now python is installed. Next we will go to this page to download the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. We will be installing the x64 version of it. For that we will click on this link. This will download the installer. Then agree to license terms. Click on install. Press yes. And now the distributable has been installed. Now we will begin the installation process for Invoke AI. For that we will go to the folder that we had downloaded before. First we will click on win long paths enabled file and press it. Click on run. That's it. This will create the required registry files. Now we click on the windows batch file to start the installation process. Click on more info, run anyway. Now we will press any key to continue. Now it is asking me to install it in C drive. I don't want to do that. I will pick a different location. So I will enter Y and press enter. Now I will create a new folder in E drive and name it Invoke AI. Enter it here and press enter. Enter yes, again press enter. Now it is asking me which kind of GPU I have in my system. I have an NVIDIA GPU. So I will be selecting one here and press enter. Now it will take some time. Now it is again asking me to press any key to continue. I will do that. Now it is asking me to activate the NSFW checker to blur the image showing potentially sexual images. I don't want that. So I will click on space button to deactivate it. Now it is asking me for hugging face access token for automatic model download and for that you need to get an access token from hugging face to get that access token we will go to hugging face website i will be sharing the link of this in the description if you have not created an account on it i suggest you to do that then we go to settings then we click on access tokens and then click on new token and let's enter some name here and click on generate token so it has created a new token for me. I will copy this token. Press Ctrl Shift V to enter the token. 
rest all settings I will keep at default. Now I will go down and by entering space, I will accept the terms and conditions. Again, I will go down to next and again press space. Now in this page, it is asking me to download models. If you have less space on your system, then you can just download the starter models. But I will be downloading all the models over here. For that, again, you have to press space and select the models. Then we will go to more models. Here it is asking me whether I want to, but this we can do in the, uh, but this we can also do in the Invoke AI user interface. So I'll be doing it later if I want to install any other model. Then we will go to Control Net. And by default, it has selected Kenny Depth Line Art models, but I'll be downloading other Control Net models also. So I'll be selecting them all. Then press Ctrl P to go to LoRa and Lecorex. It has selected LoRa by default. I will be also downloading the Ink Scenery. Press Tab to select that. Textual Inversion, it has downloaded the Easy Negative. But I will be also downloading other models. So I have downloaded all the models that are available over here. Then I will click on Apply Changes and Exit by pressing Tab. Now again, this is going to take some time. Now, as we can see, then the installation process is complete and it, it took around two hours for this to complete. Now, I will press any key. Now, I will go to Invoke AI folder and press the Windows batch file again. And as of now, I will be exploring browser based interface. For that, I will enter one and click on enter. And now we have got the web link. We will copy it. Go to a browser, paste it, and enter. And this will kickstart the Invoke AI application. So, this is the basic UI of Invoke AI. So, here you enter the prompt, here you enter the negative prompt, invoke button you press for generating the image. Here you enter the number of images you want to generate. Here's the number of steps that you want AI to take to generate the image. And here's the CFG scale. Here's the model. So as of now, I have selected deliberate. You can also select stable diffusion 1.5 model. So these two models come preloaded in it. Here's the VAE option. We also have control net and LoRa support, which was previously not available in Invoke. And here is an option to enter the dynamic prompts. One thing you will notice from start, that UI is quite snappier and it's very pleasing to use. This is the image to image section. This is unified ca canvas for in painting. And, and this is the model manager that I will talk to you about later in this video. One very good feature that has been newly introduced in it is the ratio feature where you, you can set it at portrait or wide or square or, or free. For example, if I set it on portrait and I change this to 1024, it will automatically adjust the height. Now I will tell you how you can load the models that you have already downloaded for automatic 1111 in Invoke AI. Using the model manager, to do that, you go to import models, you go to scan for models, and you paste the path of the folder where you have kept the CPKT files or save tensors file, and then you press search. Now, these are the models that I had downloaded for Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. I will simply press on Quick Add. And this will add the model to Invoke AI. So, as you can see that this model has been added. And now, I will do this for all the models. After doing that, just reload the UI. And now, you can find all the models listed over here. You can also directly import models from Hugging Face and Civit AI. I will tell you how you can do that. First, go to Civit AI website and let's say I want to download this model. Then you right click on the download link, copy link, then go to Invoke AI, paste it here and then press add model. It's very simple. So now it's adding the model. So it takes some time, but it has downloaded. I will again reload the UI and go to the main page. And here is the base model that I had downloaded. 
Another thing I would like to mention that now in Invoke AI, you can select the scheduler or samplers like you do in Automatic 11.11 and this option was not available previously in Invoke AI. I also like the way images are organized in Invoke AI. All the images that you generate can be seen on right hand side in the UI. Another great feature is option to create a board. I can create a board and then I can add different images to the board that I have created. And in this board, these images that I had added to it can be seen. You can also change the sizes of the icon of the images from here. So this is the maximum size, this is the minimum size. If you want to reuse the prompt, then just click on use prompt here. You can use the seed here. And if you want to enter all the parameters by which this particular image was created, you can press this button and all the parameters will be automatically entered. I wish this image organization I had in automatic 1111. Another nifty feature in this is that it is very easy to add positive or negative embeddings. You just have to add the symbol and it will give you option of various textual inversion embeddings that you have downloaded and it will be automatically entered. Another new feature that you will find in Invoke AI, it's notes feature that you see in Comfy AI. To get that, you just have to go to settings and enable notes editor and click on close. And now you will see the notes option. So if you want more control over image generation, this is a very good option. So you can surely try it out. In this video, I won't be covering it. And it's a welcome feature for advanced users who want more control over image generation. Another welcome feature in Invoke AI is ability to add LoRa's easily. And let's select a LoRa model. I've already selected a LoRa model in scenery. Let's set its weight at let's say 0 0.77 and generate an image. So as you can see that LoRa has created an amazing effect here. You can also add multiple LoRa's. So as of now, I just have two LoRa models here. One is Ink Scenery that we have used and another is LoRa. I have downloaded these models along with the installation. Invoke AI now also supports ControlNet. Invoke AI has been supporting ControlNet since Feb, but now its organization is very good. So let's upload an image over here. And we will try Kenny model. So I'll keep all the settings in default. Change the image size to 512 into 768 so that it matches to the size of the image that I had uploaded. And let's generate the image. So this is the image we got. And it matches quite good with the image that I had uploaded. So I'm quite impressed with the UI and new features on offer. And its organization is much better than automatic 1111. But ultimately, it's about which application generates better images. To compare that, I'll keep prompt and all the settings same and compare the images generated by Invoke AI and Automatic 1111 so that we find out which application generates better images. So I will be using deliberate model in both Invoke AI and Automatic 1111 to generate images. Positive and negative prompt I will keep same. Number of steps I will set at 30 and I will be using sampler LMS Karas. So my first prompt was Zorlog the alien in New York and as you can see the result I got in both is good. But the result I got in stable diffusion matches more with the prompt because in background I can see the New York City. But in case of image generated by Invoke, there is no New York City. The second image I generated of a 25 year old woman wearing an integrate Victoria error gown. So this is the image I got using Invoke and this is the image I got using Automatic 1111. And I find facial features and details on Automatic 1111 better when I compare it to Invoke AI. Third image I generated of photorealistic landscape of a steampunk world towering clockwork cities with elaborate metal architecture. So this is the image generated using Invoke and this is the image I generated using Stable Diffusion. So details are good in both the images but personally I like the image generated using Invoke AI more. 
नेक्स्ट इमेज आर जनरेटेड ऑफ एन वुमेन लुकिंग एट द कैमरा आई कॉन्टैक्ट फाइव फाइव टॉल एन अवर ग्लॉस फिगर वियरिंग अ बॉडी हगिंग मेटालिक ब्लू एंड रेड स्पाइडरमैन सू दिस इज द इमेज दैट इज जनरेटेड यूजिंग ऑटोमेटिक इलेवन इलेवन एंड दिस इज द इमेज जनरेटेड यूजिंग इन वो एज यू कैन सी दट द फेशियल फीचर्स आर बेटर जनरेटेड इन स्टेबल डिफ्यूजन वेन आई कंपेयर इट विद इन बोक बट आउटफिट इज बेटर कैप्चर्ड इन केस ऑफ इन बोक नेक्स्ट इमेज आई हैव जनरेटेड ऑफ अ लैंडस्केप ऑफ अ मिस्टिकल एंशियंट फॉरेस्ट एट नाइट मैसे मॉस कवर ट्रीज विद गार्ड ट्रंक्स एंड विंडिंग ब्रांचेस लिड बाय बायोलुमिनेसेंट फंगाई एंड प्लांट सो दिस इज द इमेज जनरेटेड बाय इन बोक and this is the image generated by automatic 1111 as you can see the trees are captured in both invoke and automatic 1111 but we can see bioluminescent fungi in case of automatic 1111 which we don't find in case of invoke but both images are good so i must say that invoke 3.0 is as good as automatic 1111 when it comes to image generation so should you switch to invoke ai that depends so if you want to create an image using the limited extensions that are available as of now in invoke 3.0 you should use invoke ai it might be a better option for you as organization of ui in invoke is much better compared to automatic 1111 but if you want to take advantage of vast library of extensions available for automatic 1111 then you must go for it but one thing i must admit invoke has come a long distance because 5 6 months back when i used invoke i was not satisfied with the image generated by with this i come to the end of this video if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos